guys, it's me again. I'm gonna help you move more at home today and we're gonna focus on the glutes. So we're gonna be looking at both bum cheeks, but we're also gonna be focusing on trying to stabilize the core. So you might find that the leg that's on the ground, using it as a stabilizer, is gonna feel kind of the exercise a lot more than the leg that's moving. So all you need is your mat. You could use a cushion or maybe another mat. You could double up your own mat if you start to feel any compression on the knee that's on the floor. So let's get started. You're gonna bring yourself onto your mat, Fingers spread nice and wide in your tabletop position. And then from here, just slightly draw the belly in. What I don't want you to do is kind of be dumping in the lower back the whole time. So spread the fingers wide, draw the belly button slightly in. You're gonna tuck your right toe and drag that toe along the floor and then just pluck that foot off the floor. Next, from here, you're gonna slowly bring your knee to meet the left knee and then re-extend. Nice, and we're just gonna keep doing this. So as we go, instead of kind of collapsing and sort of moving all over the place, you want to imagine or feel that you're sort of in concrete and the only thing that's going to move is your right leg. Now you can point the toe or flex the foot, it doesn't really matter, and try not to lock out those elbows, so keep a soft bend. Nice. From here we're going to pick up the pace. Now you may feel your torso start to move a little bit more when we do this. We're going to go for 10. 9. Try not to take the knee beyond uh, the knee that's on the floor, so you're not bringing the knee all the way in, you're just going to that knee. Let's go for 5. Four, three, two, one. Nice, now extend your leg. Now nice and slow and controlled, bring the toe over towards the left, and then take it as far as you can towards the right. Nice, and you're gonna go for maybe the count of two across to each side. Now what you don't wanna do is kind of be shuffling all over the place. Keep the lowest ribs tucked nice and into the side of the body. Nice, let's do this for three. Crossing over for two, try to keep the toe high, don't let it drop down, one. Nice, we're gonna pick up the pace, crossing it over for 10. Nine, you may be feeling this in that left glute now. Six, five, keep the belly in, four, three, two, one. Take the toe out to the side, and we're gonna to start to pulse that foot up and down. Good, keep that breath going, we're gonna pulse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, it's slightly out to the corner of your mat, five, four, Three, two, one. Good, from here, drop down onto your left elbow and 10 peg your right fingers onto the floor. Nice, and then nice and controlled, bring your knee towards that right elbow and then extend back out. Nice, so you're gonna feel this in that left glute, in that left hip. Keep breathing, move with control. The slower you move, the harder you're gonna feel that stabilizing leg, glute and core work. Nice, let's pick up the pace, going in and out for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, you're going to extend the leg, point the toe, and we're going to pulse that leg up and down. Now if you can, I want you to draw your lowest rib in and draw the belly in. Good, we're going to pulse for 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, almost done. Three, two, one. Good. Trace the line towards the left corner of your mat. Bring that foot back forwards. Good. We're going to do this for five. Nice and slow. For four, three, two, and one. Take it all the way to the left. You're going to pulse here for five, four, three, two, one. One, good, find some core, some stillness, come onto the tips of your right fingers. See if you can start to lift your right hand off the floor, balance here for five, four, three, two, one. Slow and controlled, bring that elbow down, take the knees wide, stretch that glute by sinking into a child's pose. <sighs> Rock yourself gently from side to side, rolling the head. Come onto the tips of the fingers and then bring yourself back up. Now we need to balance out the sides. So you're gonna really probably feeling that in your left glute. We now wanna stabilize using that right leg. So you're gonna bring yourself back into that tabletop position. I'm gonna focus on the left butt cheek this time. So find that tabletop, draw that belly in, dragging left toe behind you. Right away you wanna be feeling the core engage. Pluck the toe off the floor, nice. Good, from here we're just slow and controlled, bringing the knee in 
and then re-extending. Try not to take the heel too high, okay? Keep it in line with the bum. If you go too high, you're automatically gonna dump in the lower back and you can see my belly collapse. Good, let's take this for five. Four, three, control it, two, one. Okay, let's pick up the pace. Drawing it in and out. See if you can feel the core work. Again, don't let the knee go beyond that right knee on the floor. For five, four, three, two, one. Good, you're gonna extend that leg, cross the toe towards the right, and then take it out to the side. Nice and slow. You're gonna feel the sides of your torso kind of wanting to go all over the place. Keep the gaze down, perhaps. And imagine that your belly button is attached to the floor. There's like a string connecting it. And keep that belly button nice and still. Good. We're going to pick up the pace now. Going across for the count of one. For five, four, three, two, one. Take the toe all the way up to the left. And we're going to start to pulse. Probably feeling that in that right butt cheek now. We're going to pulse for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Come down onto the right arm. Tip onto the tips of your left fingers. Nice. And then from here, you're gonna nice and controlled. Bring the elbow towards the left tricep and re-extend. Nice and slow. Nice and controlled. Nice. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Ready to pick up the pace. Let's start to go faster in and out. Try to keep that core nice and still. Don't worry if the belly's moving. Let's go for five, four, three, three, two, one. Take it to the top, point the toe. Let's start to pulse. Good. So your foot is now, your hip rather, is now stacked on top of the right. Pulsing here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Slide the toe to the left. Take it out to the right. Almost done here, guys. Just a little bit more. Nice and slow with control. That kick towards the right is where you're going to really feel it in the right butt cheek. Pick up the pace. Whee! For ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, good, from here, stack the hip, you can flex or point the toes, keep the gaze on one thing, so you can lift that left hand up to the sky, engage the right side of the waist, we stay for five, four, three, two, one, slow and controlled, bring that hand down, hoo hoo hoo, take those knees nice and wide, bring yourself back into that child's pose, you're pinpointing the bum here, so you're stretching out those muscles that you just contracted and shortened as you strengthen them. So we want to stretch them out. You can give your bum a little hug if you want. <sighs> nice, take the hands onto the floor. Bring yourself back up. You should really feel that in the bum, maybe for the rest of the day, maybe for a couple more days. If it is giving you any kind of chat, just stretch it out, any kind of forward fold, sitting in a child's pose. Well done guys, hope you felt it.